Hey guys, today I'm going to do a video we're talking about these Briggs and Stratton synchro balancers. These are crankshafts out of two engines. This one here is out of 11 horsepower, model 25. This one's out of a 12 or 12 and a half horsepower, model 28. And as you can see, they've been sitting around the garage here for a while and got all rusted up. This will clean up no problem if I ever needed it. That's why I don't like to have parts sitting around too long because they always get rusted up or if they're aluminum oxidized like that piston right there did. And it's not the focus of this video but I thought I'd show you a little bit of how it works. And you can see how the counterweights these here offset from the crankshaft to balance out the force of the connecting rod and piston. This is your journal here and the weights are over here. See how it goes back and forth. The main thing I'm going to show you today is how to remove the counterweights on the, one of these crankshafts. Now, on some of them you cannot remove these. The weights are built in on the newer ones. If yours has a bolt here, like this one, this other one has the same thing. It's got a bolt here. If they've got the bolt, you can remove the counterweights. You might be wondering why you'd have to remove these counterweights. One good reason would be to replace this rod right here. This is the uh, nicknamed the dog bone connecting rod in here because it looks like a bone and it connects the counterweights to a rod inside the crankcase. And this part's often confused with the connecting rod that connects the journal on the crankshaft to the piston but this is not your actual connecting rod. A lot of times these, uh, these will break and your counterweights will let loose and put a big old hole in the crankcase most people will see this as it looks just like a connecting rod, just smaller. Most people think the connecting rod broke, but actually it was this. And if this rod does break, most of the time the engine ain't salvageable. There are some cases where you it is worth fixing, but uh, most of the time it busts a hole in the back side of the crankcase and it just ain't worth fixing. Now another reason that you'd have to take these counterweights off is if you're building a racing lawnmower engine, you usually have to do away with these weights because they tend to be a weak point of the engine when you exceed the, the standard RPM like 3600 because of high RPM this rod here tends to break and the counter rates get thrown through the back of the crankcase and it pretty much destroys the block so what a lot of people do they do away with this whole synchro balancer setup and put brass counterweights on it looks just like this to make the crankshaft more like this without the synchro balancer with weights built in like this and uh, it's a lot more reliable it's an expensive modification but they can save your engine plus it cuts down on the weight of the internal parts you don't have all this massive metal moving inside too okay I put the gear back on here just to show you where it would be you pull that off you notice there's a keyway built in on the crankshaft here. Now, maybe we'll go ahead and break this loose here. It's a 7 16th bolt, by the way. Take it all the way out. There's your bolt. Pretty long bolt. Be sure not to lose it. And this comes out like this. This is where your rod goes here. It sits right here, like that. And this one comes loose here. And the whole crankshaft is completely apart. If you look inside here, where the crankshaft rides, there's a bearing shell in here. You can, you can replace these if you get too much play in it. I'm not sure what the specs are. I'm not checking any of this because uh, I'm just going to put this one right back together. I'm just taking it apart to show you how to do it. And the same for the other side, too. These eccentrics are removable, too. You can see there's a pin right here that's lined them up. You can see they just pull right off. Sometimes you have to replace these if there's too much wear on them. 
And when I'm talking about these replacing this and these, most people don't ever take these things apart. If you ever get an old engine that has a knock in it, and you tear it down and you look at the, you measure the journal and the rod and everything in the spec, it could be a little bit of play in these eccentrics making a knocking sound. And it won't really affect performance that much, but if it gets too worn out, it can uh, seize up and uh, these can break. I've seen videos of these broke off on, on YouTube there. These broke off. And you see these broke all the time. And yeah, now let's put this thing back together. I'll be using this in a 11 horsepower eventually. I got it sitting over there. And also, when you put these back together, be sure to load this up with STP or motor oil or something. Even grease will probably be alright. And you make sure you put this in facing the right way. If you put it in wrong, like this, it won't go in all the way. And make sure it goes in like that. And this weight goes in here. Just gotta line everything up. There it is. And put the bolt back in. I'm not sure the torque spec on this bolt. I'll just get them pretty tight and uh, let it go. Uh, I don't know how critical it really is. Uh, just get it pretty tight and uh, don't get it tight enough that it strips out. But yeah, you get the idea. That's probably about how tight you are when I take them apart. You get back together and make sure everything spins alright. It's making that noise because I didn't put no oil or nothing on there. I'll take this back apart before I use it since it's been sitting so long. And your timing gear, the part that's got a lip right here faces this. You want to make sure you line up the keyway on here. Just like that. And your crankshaft ready to go. Now another thing I forgot to mention about this connecting rod. If you don't have the money for the brass counterweight for a racing engine, you can buy a uh, billet, billet aluminum connecting rod for this to replace this. And it's a lot stronger and you can go ahead and use the weights. I personally recommend the brass counterweights. And also don't forget with any racing lawnmower engine, be sure to run a billet connecting rod and uh, a billet aluminum flywheel too. Your stock cast iron flywheel can explode at higher RPMs due to a, a crack in it at one point, like if somebody just hammering to get it off. Uh, sometimes they get a crack in there and they can explode at high RPM, and that can kill you. So always run a uh, billet aluminum flywheel if you're taking the governor off your engine. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you got any questions about crankshafts, let me know, and I'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching guys, we'll catch you on the next video.